Hello everyone, in this video, let's learn how to prove limit of 1 plus 1 over n greater than when n approaches infinity equals e. Suppose I have a number t greater than or equal to 1, less than or equal to 1 plus 1 over n. Now, I'm going to take reciprocal 3 sign. So then, you need to switch the inequality symbol. So it turns out to be 1 over 1 plus 1 over n. Less than equal to 1 over t. Less than equal to 1, right? Now, we're going to check the integral from 1 to 1 plus 1 over n, 3 sign. Let's calculate this one first. This guy actually a constant, right? So when you take the antiderivative of this one, dt, it turns out to be 1 over 1 plus 1 over n t. Evaluated from 1 to 1 plus 1 over n, right? Now this guy turns out to be 1 over 1 plus 1 over n times 1 plus 1 over n minus 1 over 1 plus 1 over n times 1, right? Now this guy and this guy cancel out, right? So it's going to be 1 left, right? So it's going to be 1 subtract. This guy actually 1 over 1 plus n, right? So I multiply this one over here and I print n to the top, right? So it turns out to be n over n plus 1, right? Now, I need to simplify this one. So, it's going to be n plus 1 on the bottom, right? So, the top should be n plus 1 minus n, right? So, it's going to be 1 over n plus 1, right? Now, the second one right here, it turns out to be natural log of absolute value of t, right? when t go from 1 to 1 plus 1 over n. So it turns out to be natural log of absolute value of 1 plus 1 over n minus natural log of absolute value of 1, right? Now, this guy is always positive, right? So you just remove the absolute value side. So it's going to be 1 plus 1 over n, right? This guy equals 0. So you don't need to write, right? Now, the third one right here is actually t evaluated from 1 to 1 plus 1 over n, right? So, it turns out to be 1 plus 1 over n subtract 1. So, it could be 1 over n, right? All right, so we have 1 over n plus 1 less than or equal to 2. Add up 1 plus 1 over n less than or equal to 1 over n, right? Now, go ahead, exponentiate three sides, right? So I have e raised to this one, e raised to this one, and e raised to this one, right? So this guy turns out to be e raised to the 1 over n plus 1, right? Less than or equal to, this guy turns out to be 1 plus 1 over n, right? Because you have a raised to the log base a of b equals b, right? Now this guy becomes e raised to the 1 over n, right? Now, I'm going to deal with the left-hand side first. So I'm going to deal with the first two right here. Now, I'm going to take the n plus 1 power both sides. So it's going to be all together power of n plus 1. This guy all together power of n plus 1, right? So, this guy turns out to be e less than or equal to 1 plus 1 over n raised to the n plus 1, right? Now, I leave this one over here. Second one, I'm going to deal with the two guys right here. So, I have 1 plus 1 over n less than or equal to e raised to the 1 over n, right? 
Now I'm gonna check the end power of both sides. So this guy power up and this guy power up and right. So it turns out to be 1 plus 1 over and all together right to the end less than or equal to E, right? Now I'm gonna combine these two guys right here. So what should I have? Does that mean I have this guy less than E, right? So 1 plus 1 over N all together right to the end less than or equal to E. But E is less than this one, right? Now I need to rewrite this one. Now this guy right here can be written as 1 plus 1 over N all together right to the end times 1 plus 1 over n, right? Now go ahead divide both sides of this inequality by this guy right here, right? So I have e over 1 plus 1 over n less than or equal to 1 plus 1 over n all together right to the end, right? But if you look at the left hand side, you see that this guy right here actually less than or equal to E right here, right? This guy right here less than or equal to E. Go ahead, take the limit, three side, when N approaches infinity. Right, so this guy approaches E, right? This guy, you just rewrite it. And this guy approaches E because it's a constant, right? Now by the squeeze theorem, limit of 1 plus 1 over n right to the end when n approaches infinity equals e. This one has been proved. If you have another way to prove this problem, please leave a comment and it's good time to stop. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember that if you fail failing to prepare, you're repairing to fail. Buildings as the chemicals they take us higher.